breaking news. A deadly tractor trailer crash on the Mass Pike causing major delays for the evening commute. You can see the cab of the truck in the eastbound lanes, the shipping container across the westbound lanes. And here is a live look at that accident scene right now. You can see as we widen out that the container is gone. The cab has been lifted up, but a lot of people working that scene, very slow traffic, and the area, no question, still a mess. I want to give you a look now at our up to the minute traffic map. You can see red in both directions on the Mass Pike as drivers are guided around that accident scene. It has been a nightmare afternoon. Yeah, no question. Let's get right to Anaritis Rodriguez, who is live along the Mass Pike tonight. Anaritis? David and Lisa, we are on the on-ramp to the Mass Pike eastbound just off of Cambridge Street in Brighton. The body of the person killed in this accident was taken away by the medical examiner's office just about an hour ago. You can see behind me, though, that the cleanup continues. Crews now using chainsaws to break apart the cabin, which is too twisted to haul away. And this is traffic continues to build at this hour, backed up to Newton. Westbound at exit 20, eastbound at 18, the mangled cabin of an 18-wheeler sits overturned on the Mass Pike. The trailer it was hauling on its side spilled out over three lanes of highway. The body of the person driving it at the time covered by a black tarp. State police say the single trailer crash reported just before 2 o'clock this afternoon killed one person. Investigators now focusing on this eastbound lane and the tire marks along its median. The accident creating a bottleneck in the afternoon commute. Curious drivers pulling out their phones as traffic stretched back for miles. My normal day commute about 15 minutes turned out to be an hour and 45, so it's pretty heavy. It took me about an hour and 20 minutes. I, I'm hardly making it here without gas. So it was a very, very brutal. The trailer of the cab was carrying appears to belong to a company known as Ocean Network Express, which we found was a Japanese container shipping company with services in the state. The cause of the accident and the identity of the driver unknown at this time. That's the latest here on the Pike. I'm Anaritis Rodriguez, WBZ News. It's going to be an issue for a while. Anaritis, thank you.